This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Hot preseason promo deals on Baccarat, Testo, Combustion Analyzers. Check out Value Testers for a full preview of specials, deals, and promos. Best tool company on the web, no one compares. Description and link below. Morning, guys. It is March 2nd, 2019 here. What we've got going on with this one is, um, guys, heat won't shut off. He's got a gas boiler. An older guy, he said. The boiler won't shut off. It just keeps running. But he shut it off downstairs. Or maybe it's a bad control, control sticking, or a bad thermostat wire touching in the wall. Or bad T stat. We'll find out when we get there. So he shut the boiler off in the basement. He said that the heat kept running wild. Well, hopefully it, it acts up when I get there. It's still it's still a problem. Sometimes the relays, you know, they don't disengage on the control or something and it keeps it running. Uh, it could be anything. I was supposed to get some snow today, like uh oh, Four, four to six inches of snow, wet snow. It's kind of like right around 30, 34 degrees, so it's going to be mucky wet. Nasty. So me and Miss Molly are working again, yo. So I'll see if I can get some shots when I get there. It's a little bit of a ride. drive slow on this stuff you know all right guys so the thermostat is not calling upstairs 72 in the house <sighs> 72 in the house look at this for a control He's an older guy. He might have just had it up and didn't even realize it. Could it be that you had the thermostat turned up and didn't realize it because you couldn't see it? Is it possible? No, because every night when I go to bed, yeah. I turn it down to 70. Right. So I'm in bed, you know, and it's getting awful warm. What the hell's going on? Yeah, because right. right. Now I'm dead. And it was way up high and around 80. And I was like, there's something wrong, you know? It was at 80, huh? Yeah. All right, we'll turn it up to 72. So we'll turn it up, have it kick on, and put it down. Yeah. So the only thing I could think of, I remember one time I had to replace the batteries in there, so I tried that, you know? Alright, she fired up. What's the relay sticking? I mean, anything's possible. She, she she clicked off. I figured, you know, gee, if it did it once, maybe it's going to do it again. I might as well have it checked, you know. Unless it's a bad thermostat. I mean, I have to I have to see what it's doing. Yeah. Before I condemn it, right? Sure. She shut off. He's an older coot. I don't know. I think it's possible the relay's sticking. We're gonna bad control here. It's 24 volt. L1, L2.
bad control. See, it's not shutting off. See it? It's not shutting off. It's a bad control. I got the thermostat disconnected. A bad control here, Mama. Okay, that's what it is. A bad control. Let's see if I got something out of the truck I can put in there. I don't know, man. That's gonna be a weird one. Fuck, oh, shit, man. I don't know. That's an oldie. Alright, I gotta change this thing. I don't know. The other one's gonna be a little bit different, I think. But L1, L2 is white, and C1 is... C1 is yellow. Let's see if I can get this unit in there. I don't know. Ain't gonna look pretty, Mama. off. It's not pretty. Sucker. Might have to change the well. today. going to be a lot different. I don't know if it's even going to want to go on that probe. I might have to do something about that. It's a 
old one, man. Shit show moment. What a shit show. That's what I gotta get in there. Off it even go. The probe's different. Gonna have to drain it down and change the probe. kind of shitty I gotta drain the boiler down change this probe it won't even fit in there wow I got probes in the truck I gotta drain the boiler down for that ain't that a bitch what do we got for a feeder here yeah, I gotta drain the boiler down it's got a pit right here see the difference the size of the probes and I cut a little access door in here to get that thing out I couldn't what a bugger now we can put the control in there I'll be able to tighten it up through there we could always close this up after what a shit show all right so I got the uh, B1 B2 over here C1 is yellow L102 is white and black and then I got the thermostat over here when it calls for heat I'll fire right up I'll shut right off but I gotta go up and bleed all the radiators upstairs so all bleeders upstairs what gonna be a pain in the ass what a flipping job turn into a real shit show mama It's a real shit show. I'm gonna put all the bleeders in. <sighs> I just make sure it's blood good. Going around bleeding it a couple of times. Getting all the air out of it. This is four bleeders in this thing. Mm. Not the greatest setup, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Getting warm. Good. No bleeders. There we go. That one's nice and warm. That one runs all the way around here, and I got another bleed on this end. A shit show, just turn out to be. Yeah, she's warm, just want to make sure they bleed it good. Make sure I get it bleed good. 
absolutely not here, innit? Alright, that one's bled. Beat the dog here in the bathroom, but this one, was, this one was fine. Yeah, this one's nice and toasty. That one's fine. 70. And you want it? You want to stay with this this thermostat? You rather have oh, yeah, this? Yeah. You rather have this Honeywell? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got a new thermostat, a new control, a new well, yeah. and I had to change out those four wrong um, bleeders. Yeah. Would have been easier just to put a purge station downstairs, but yeah. that's it. Let me pick up my tools. I'll get you a slip. Alright, new main operating control, new thermostat, he wanted a new Honeywell thermostat, new well, because the other well was too small, four bleeders, bled all ear, from loops, I'm going to put the cover on, I'm done, the flipping job. It's a well McLean, that was a flipping job and a half. Pressure's right where it needs to be. Good. Alright guys, just left that job. I mean, that main control, that's a real old control. Maybe I had to change the well inside the boiler. And then when I drained the boiler down, didn't that really have purge stations? I had to bleed it upstairs at the radiator to change all the bleeders. I mean, what a shit show. But an older guy, he's in his 90s, I mean, he don't want to change the boiler out, so, I changed the control out, he wanted to leave that thermostat in there, he wanted that, he wanted a new Honeywell thermostat, so I gave, I, I left him that other Honeywell thermostat, that's what he wanted, I had to put a new main operating control, uh, new thermostat, four bleeders, purge the air out, luckily the feeder was working, I didn't have to change that, Expansion tank was still good, surprisingly. I mean, Saturday, so I just charged him straight time. I didn't even charge him overtime today. I feel bad for the guy. I did three hours. It's a long, long, a lot of, a lot of chooch to do right there. A lot of work. I to cut the side of the boiler out to get that probe out. I couldn't get it out. I just put that piece of metal back. Not a big deal. Good. A done deal. Oh, yeah. You want to be a heating man, huh? You want to be a heating man. You want to be a heating man. Oh, I know you love being a heating man. Hey, you love being a heating man. Show, man. It was a shit show. I know it. Yeah, that was a real shit show. <laughs>